Alright guys, what is up? Your boy R. Dykes here coming at you with your next formation for your Pittsburgh offensive guide. So we're going to be going over our single back big, our single back ace, whatever you guys want to call it for terminology. So let's just jump right into this, guys. Okay, like I said, the place we're going to be using is the halfback stretch, the HB dive Z spot, and PA stretch. Like I said, guys, as always, if you want to come out in this formation, we'll give you a base play. We'll go ahead and use the counter weak as our base play. Let's put the defense in a man coverage. Like I said, guys, the thing I love about this formation is you're able to flip the play guys with no movement so you're able to always to run to the weak side with the running backs or excuse me with the weak side of the linebacker so like i said there's more guys to the right guys we got five guys on the right and three on the left so we're just going to run this counter to the left follow your blockers pretty much straightforward and simple but like I said, the way I would be running this, guys, especially for some of the newer guys, is run it to the side where there's less people. Just either flip your play if you, uh, the run's to that side, if it's to that side. Just run to the weak side again. Like I said, we'll run it one more time, just show you how how it's ran. Um, I mean, there's nothing too hard about really me saying, like, you have to run it this way. It's just simple reads. So that's pretty much how that goes. Let's go over the HP stretch. Again, guys, run it to that weak side. Flip the play. If it's there, fall your blockers. Like I said, you want to kind of keep the uh, – really keep it inside for as long as possible, guys, and then you want to kick it out. So you keep it, keep it, keep it. Now, if you see that linebacker out there is – see how he's getting a nice outside scrape? Don't be afraid to hit that hole one more time. Let's see if he does it one more time. Now, you see now – there you go. You don't really have to kick that outside because you've got a nice inside hole, but don't be afraid to do it as well if you've got a speedy guy. So, again, simple run. One more time, HP dive. There it is. Run it to the side with less guys. Boom, there it is. Get your yardage. Steven Jackson should get six to seven yards on that dive if there's no one there. But like I said, the reason we put this in here was because of this. Plus, we like to have another formation to go to from my favorite formation in this whole book, which is going to be the ace paired twin tight end chief, which we'll go over in the next video. There it is one more time. Uh, get your yards. Flip it to that weak side. Um, I mean, pretty much simple stuff, guys. We don't need to go over it too much. The running is simple. Uh, so let's go ahead and actually jump into the passing out of this. So we're going to be audibling to the Z spot. So this is going to be called our play called Z spot. So the, what I like to do, guys, is I like to zig Y and I like to in route B. Now the interesting thing about this play, guys, is Steven Jackson actually has a really good uh, snap throw route. So it's going to be man coverage, it looks like. So what we're going to be doing here is looking at both of our tight ends early to see if they can beat man coverage. We've got the zig over there beat. So we're going to snap that out, get rid of it. There it is. And we're going to go ahead and do the same thing. Audible disease spot, zig him, in route B. Look to both tight ends again. We've got the zig route, and then we've got the post route to the sideline. That safety dropped down pretty well. So, I mean, kind of your first read, guys, I would, again, I would say, is basically your tight end should be beaten man here. Uh, one more time. Let's look at the post route. Boom. You kind of want to throw it early. Looks like that guy's there, but he's actually covering Steven Jackson out in the flat. Just kind of gets in front of it. So, one more time. Let's look at this Z spot. And now let's actually look at our snap throw to Jackson. Now we're going to call Hike, and now he actually gets caught on the tackle. Now, if we don't get him caught on the tackle, what you're going to see is he's going to be basically, you're able to call Hike and throw it out to him in the flats, and it's actually going to be hell versus zone. It's going to mess up zone, but you see how he gets kind of like that, really that really nice uh, positioning on the linebacker. So something that we really like. Um, finally, like I said, you've got those in routes. If you've got good... Uh, Route running ability, B beats man, and you see X beats man over the top. So, I mean, honestly, they're they're more there for zone guys, those in routes. But like I said, they're still going to be man with the receivers that we have on this team. So, again, it gets that inside position by B, and then X as well gets inside positioning. Click on, grab it. There it is. Get your 20 yards. Love this play. Uh, just in general, like I said, guys, if you feel like they're playing one side, then definitely go ahead and flip it. Uh, we can run this to the other side here. In route by X and then in route by B. Click on, grab it. There it is. Boom. So just something else that we can do. Let's go ahead and put zone coverage and then we'll go ahead, go to the PA stretch and then kind of do it from there. Go. Let's go to the single back ace or big. Whatever your preference is. We'll just come out in Z spot just because we know we're going to run it. Cover three, like I said, the zig route and the B. So look at your tight ends early if they're there. Take them. We don't have our tight ends, guys, so we're going to actually dump it down to our B route. That's where these little in routes come in play here. Also, our snap throw will come in play. You can also call hike and basically snap throw this in route as well, guys, especially with the corners backed off. Uh, you have a nice little snap throw to the in route. Boom, there it is. Almost like a really a comeback for five yards, but um, all you're doing is pass it in inside one more time. Call hike, boom, snap it out there. 
especially if you see those corners backed off, something that's really nice. Um, another thing, like I said, if you guys are more advanced and you understand that zone, another thing that you guys can do is you can actually in route Kaufman as well. Um, what you're going to see is, again, for that snap, though, like we talked about, he played that pretty well. Uh, first time I've seen someone play that all this year on those in routes, but... I think it's because probably because it's bare and it's a safety. So maybe let that develop a little bit more. So let's see, he's trying to jump underneath, and then boom. But now you've got basically two really quick hitting routes right there, um, something that we like. So let's look at this one more time. Now look at A. Now if they've got the purples, guys, again, they're going to cover that, but they're not going to cover the flats. So basically what they're doing is they're picking, do we want to take away RB or do we want to take away the corn route more than likely people are going to want to take away the corn route because that's more of the bigger play but like i said if you got steven jackson or you got a power back guys he's going to be hell in the flats because he is just going to really bowl over everyone he sees and then finally you've got this really good in route right breaking right in front of the zone uh something that's one of my more favorite routes about the 15 yard in routes this year uh one more time here it is and then you've got him where he breaks right in front of the zone Right where the guy can't play it. Love it. Uh, like I said, guys, if they are going to play that, let's see if he does that again. Hopefully he does. Hopefully he plays that X-Rod. See how he actually plays the X-Rod. Now you actually have the zig out far out to the sideline. You've got to let it develop a little bit more. But that's basically it. Um, let's go into PA. Two wide receiver corner. And we're going to just run this versus zone now so we don't have to really pause it. Um, the only adjustment I liked on this was streak A. And if you really want to, you can cancel play action early. Now, this is zone, guys. What you want to look for, again, is your tight ends. You're going to see A is going to be open here. We're going to throw it to him. But Y and A are going to be generally open on this uh on this play against zone. So you're going to look at your tight ends again early on. I mean, you've got A down the scene. Don't be afraid to, to throw that ball, especially with Gonzalez with this catch in traffic. Now, another thing, guys, now what you're going to see is a lot of times they're going to be usering that A route now that you're throwing it, and you should have Y underneath opening up. Now, the B route over here, guys, is excellent versus zone coverage unless they have the deep purples dropping. But like we talked about earlier, they've got to take away something, so it's going to be that's going to be underneath there. There it is. Now, that's basically where you make them pick. Again, guys, they're going to either take away, take away your big play or not. Um, play action here again as well. you got A, and then you've got that deep comeback on that sideline. If that guy's dropping there, be uh, definitely pay attention to him. A lot of times you guys can get that linebacker to actually suck in on play action. As you see, he sucks in on play action there. Boom, there it is. Nice play. One more time, and then that we're going to go ahead and go to man, and we'll cut it from there. Uh, streak A one more time. So let's see if he gets bite. So he doesn't bite there. Boom, there it is. Just go underneath. Make them pick between B and Y. I love that B route versus man in zone coverage. It's just like I said, they're playing good coverage, making you go underneath, which is fine because you're still getting 15, 20 yards. So let's put the defense in a man. Then we'll go ahead and stop the video. Single back big. PA 218 corner. And then let's put him in man coverage. So again, first reads are your tight ends. Here it is. Now you're going to see why actually gets a great man beater on that. Uh, you're going to definitely take it if it's there. A lot of times you'll see guys, the guys will start to use your either A and Y, especially the more and more you start to kill them with that route. Again, here it is. Boom. Y absolutely torches that, that dude right there. There we go. One more time. And then we're going to look at, we accidentally block Gonzalez. But now you've got this post right over here. Now he's going to be breaking, guys. What you'll see on it is you basically throw it once he breaks. So it's going to be, let's cancel the play action here. But let's watch B's route. Boom. See how he breaks outside and it's just basically tons of room to run. It's the reason why we put this play in there. Plus also it looks like the stretch, which we've ran a couple times, I'm guessing. Uh, looks exactly the same way. And then boom. Love this route, guys. My favorite route. Um, there it is. Gets big yardage. And then finally, like I said, you've got to check down over to the right side with the comeback, especially against man coverage. They're not going to play it. Boom. There it is. Pass laid it down, and you got it. So that's basically going to do it, guys. Hopefully this helped a lot. Um, like I said, it's more one or more of your sample formations. But like I said, the running out of this is so good. And I think with that B route, guys, it's going to cause uh, havoc for people, especially end of the game. Z spot as well with the snap throws and that deep in route is going to cause problems versus zone. So something we really like. Uh, like I said, as always.